In this video, I will show you how to run the RED5 distribution that we built in the last video. So the first thing to do is to find the project where you built the RED5 distribution, right click on it, and click on Refresh. And now you should see this new dist folder. This is where we built the RED5 distribution. And you should notice there's a RED5.bat and a RED5shutdown.bat. And we will use those to start the distribution and stop the distribution. Now before we run the distribution, we should stop the RED5 service if we have it running. So go to your administrative tools, double click on services, find the RED5 service, right click on it, and choose stop to stop it. And now go to your dist folder. This is the dist folder where your RED5 distribution project is the Eclipse project. That's the same disk folder right, as right here in Eclipse. Find the red5.bat folder and double click on it. And now it says installer service created so we know that it worked. And now the red5 distribution is running. Now what you don't want to do is close this command prompt. Um, that's not the right way to stop the RED5 distribution and it could screw everything up. So what we want to do to, to stop it is to use this RED5 shutdown.bat. But before we run that, I recommend making a change to it. So open Notepad and then drag the RED5 shutdown.bat in there into Notepad and then add a line at the end that says pause and that will make it so that we can see the output in the command prompt so we can make sure that the shutdown works. And then close that, or first save it, and then close it, and then run the red5 shutdown.bat, double click on it, and actually it didn't work. It says C documents is not recognized as an internal or external command operable program or batch file. Press any key to continue. So I don't actually know why that didn't work, but I will update this video as soon as I figure it out. So for now, we can just use Control-C, and then press Y, and return.